It's the Dutch Miller Auto Show. Entertaining West Virginia for over 15 years. With your host, Chris Miller and Wes Thompson. Recorded on location right here in Huntington, West Virginia. And now, Chris and Wes. Back! I'm Chris Miller along with Wes Thompson. And we are here to show you all the vehicles we have online. And we are also here to remind everybody that we are the area's only car dealership with between 400 and 600 vehicles in stock at any given time, priced below $250 a month, and also well over a thousand vehicles in stock currently right now for you to look at. And where you can find all of this is at www.dutchmillerauto.com. And we list all of our brand new and all of our pre-owned inventory right there online for you to find. And we have everything broken down for you in a very, very easy, easy to find way. And so I want to show you something really quickly here. This is DutchMillerAuto.com. Right down here on this scrolly thing here, if you want to look for a pre-owned vehicle, we're going to select pre-owned. And then we can select the year, the make, the model, or we can go to advanced search. And in advanced search, change that to pre-owned, and we can search by price. So anything that you're looking for in your price range, there's $5,000 or less. Great vehicles to, you know, um, send a young lady off to college in or something like that, or to get their first vehicle in high school. There's a $5,000 or $10,000 range, so on and so forth. All the way to over $60,000, because we stock all kinds of pre-owned vehicles. So whatever you're looking for, we have it right here at Dutch Miller Automotive at DutchMillerAuto.com. So I got a couple criteria here. The first one I've already got pulled up for you are, are vehicles priced below $5,000? And here's one right now. Here's a 2009 Kia Spectra. And here's the best part. It's got 111,000 miles on it. And it is in tip-top shape. All right, and it's working a little slow today. And Chris, when you talk about cars that are sub $10,000, I want to make sure everyone's clear. These cars go through a rigorous inspection process. Mm -hmm. um, these are quality vehicles. Quality vehicles. Let me give you, I mean, this right here, this is one to, to take a look at. This is a 2006 Buick LaCrosse, 112,000 miles on it. it. For it to be here online and priced like this, by the way, um, it has been through an inspection process, and either one of two things is gonna happen. Either in this inspection process, we'll show you everything we have fixed, or if it's an as-is vehicle, we'll show you everything that we have fixed, plus everything else that it needs, and let you have the choice if you wanna fix it right now with us, or have someone else do it for you. And so we literally believe in full disclosure, so we wanna go above and beyond the call of duty. So we inspect every single one of our vehicles. We will make sure and have you understand everything that we've done and also document other things that we've noticed that need to be done and make sure that you have all of that information. Well, Chris, I think something else that I think you should talk a little bit about is, you know, the way you price these vehicles, you know, you're very competitively priced and it's not by accident. It's software that you're using to price these vehicles. Well, all of the vehicles we have listed online are also, um, it gives us access to everybody else's vehicles that are listed online. And what we do is use some detailed software to aggregate all like make models and conditions in a certain area or distance and know exactly how to price and match or undercut every single vehicle like the one that we have right up front and make sure the price that you're getting and shopping for online is reflective of getting the absolute best deal right up front. And so when you say friends and family pricing for everybody means you get the best deal right up front like a friend or family member, there's actually some actual science to that. It's yeah. not just a gimmick. Yeah. Um, we, uh, it's intentional that our cars are priced better. Totally intentional. Um, let me give you an example of a couple of them here. Um, Wow, I'm scrolling through. We have a dealership in Charlotte, and we've got a lot of inventory at our Charlotte location that is uh, um, uh, currently, um, you know, priced well below five thousand um, dollars. Here is a 2014 Ford Focus. Um, that's at our Charlotte location as well. Oh, this would be good. This is at our Subaru store. This is a 2014 Nissan Sentra. And this is just to show you the quality of stuff that you get. It has 95,000 miles on it. It's priced at sixty-three ninety-five. This is a vehicle you could finance if you wanted to and get an incredibly inexpensive monthly payment of probably around $95 a month. Or you just pay cash for it. But if you take a look at this vehicle, just came in, just traded for it. We'll get up-to-date pictures as soon as it gets there. But it shows you the speed 
of how fast all this stuff happens. Cars that are priced that inexpensive, literally by the time that we get the vehicle trade for it, take some preliminary pictures and run it through our service department, there's already people interested in wanting to buy it because of how well we price them. That quality and condition of car for that kind of money is a very, very difficult thing to find. It really is. We've got a whole bunch more here. Here's another one. Here's a uh, Honda Civic. And this is a uh, 2012 Honda Civic. Take a look at this car. It's in tip-top shape and it's priced at $6,400. Chris, how many vehicles do you think Dutch Miller Auto has available that are priced between or below $300 a month? Um, let's 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 research that really quickly. We're going to go to used, and we are going to price. Let's do this. Let's see here. Let's do a search just on the ten to fifteen thousand dollar range. Didn't tell me the number. <laughs> Need to go to advanced search. There we go. So we have three hundred and seventy nine pre owned vehicles in our inventory currently right now. Um, and if we go to advanced search, I'm going to pull up our stuff priced. To answer your question, I would say somewhere around 400. I mean, <clears throat> it's not just, uh, so you've got, I think the area's best selection of vehicles priced below $300 a month. Um, and if, guy, if gas prices keep going up, I like to remind people we've got the area's best selection of vehicles getting better than 30 miles per gallon. Yeah, and so one of the other really creative ways to get a car payment that is below $300 a month is through a lease. And a lot of our new car advertisements when it comes to our payments are new manufacturer incentivized leases that you get to keep a vehicle for three years, turn it in at the end of the three years, and have a $250 car payment on a brand new car. If I was going to buy a brand new vehicle, that's one of the things that I would consider. I would think about how many miles a year that I'm going to drive, and as long as it's less than 15,000 miles a year, I would find the vehicle that I wanted that leased well and lease it. Well, you know, it's like my wife and I, I, I buy my bike, my vehicle every time. She leases one every time. She only drives about 9,000 miles a year. Oh my gosh, she barely drives anywhere. That's right. And she is the perfect candidate for a lease. Yep. The absolute perfect candidate. And she gets a new car every three years. Uh, and you guess what? You have no negative equity when that happens. When you lease a vehicle, you never have negative equity. And by the way, it's always under warranty. Always under warranty. There's uh, lots of different ways to buy vehicles. We have a lot of people in our marketplace that want to buy it. They don't want to lease it. And that's it. In a discussion, we have, we have lots of customers as well that want to lease them and believe in getting a new car every three years. They want to make sure that everything they're getting is under warranty, bumper to bumper completely. And they just release vehicles over and over and over again. It's zero, zero hassle and they don't ever have negative equity and they just go from one lease to the next. Well, and one of the things too that you're, that's helping you build up your uh, pre-owned inventory is that you guys also do a really good job of giving people the most you can give them for the trade. Oh, absolutely. Um, we, we, um, we sell a lot of brand new vehicles, and a, one, one of the things that comes along with that is to make sure and absolutely have the most pre-owned vehicles that we have in stock. And so we do that by making sure that we trade for as many cars as we possibly can by giving people the absolute best value for their trading that we can. We also have a program in place right now where it doesn't matter if you want to buy a car from us or not, we will purchase your vehicle. If you literally, it doesn't matter if you've got something that is in, you know, a, a super high mileage $800 car, or if you have something that's an $80,000 car, we will look at and make an offer and purchase any vehicle out there right now. And we'll also be able to get you a check within 48 hours. So fantastic ways to, you know, to uh, get rid of the vehicle that you want to without having to list it online and getting a check from a real place within 48 hours. Um, you know, it, it winds up being an absolutely terrific way for anybody that's looking to get rid of the car that they've got um, to be able to do that. What if we went back in time a little bit, guys, today? Because I'm sure the people at home want to know a little more about the host okay. and their, uh, their time back in middle school or high school. What were some of the fashion trends of middle school or high school and did you participate? All right, are you ready for a funny story? So all through middle school and most of high school, I was a chubby kid. And in middle school, for example, one of the things that everybody did was peg their jeans. Yeah, I pegged my jeans. And I looked dumb doing it. Not only did I look dumb, but I never could get it right. I could never figure out how to peg my jeans right without having them fall down. Did you wear white K-Swiss without socks with those no, pegged jeans? No, my, so also, you know, even to this day, um, I have wide feet. Like I can wear the boxes better than the shoes. And so the K-Swiss are really narrow. I could like, I even tried to buy them once. I'm almost like, they're too narrow, I'm telling you. And I went and tried them on and it literally felt like my feet were pouring off the side, like the soles of them. What I think is hysterical. I, I couldn't fit in them. I think it's hysterical that when you were younger, you were chubby. And when I was younger, I was absolute rail. <laughs> I, gradu I, gradu I graduated high school at 160 pounds. Funny how it goes. Wow. Um, I had a, let's see here. I had a rat tail at one point. I had a perm at one point. What? It was called a vavoom. 
Those oh, pictures wait, are there. Any pictures? Those of pictures this? are burned. Um, let's see. Um, I need uh, to see this. I had jams. Those were those like were shorts that yeah, had like hibiscus great. on them. I had. Uh, let's I like see. how you called them hibiscus instead of yeah. flowers. Yeah, and then I had. Um, let's see, a Panama Jack T-shirts, Varney sunglasses. I pretty much went with every possible trend that you could, minus the perm. No one was doing that. Oh, I had parachute pants. <laughs> if anybody had parachute pants, it was me. But then when the high school hit. I kind of went what I thought was like preppy, right? So here would be like a, a, a typical outfit for me in high school. I had like some Eddie Bauer, either hiking boots or duck shoes. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, Rain yeah, shoes. Yeah, yeah. Then like some jeans, like some guest jeans. Okay. A braided belt. Yeah. Okay. And then like a like an LL Bean flannel tucked in. Nice. Okay. And then like a but then like to to completely ruin the outfit, I always had like um, hats that were super popular, like. Like at the time, it wasn't that I supported the team, it was that the hat was popular. Okay. So I wore like a Los Angeles Kings hat. Got it, okay. Yeah, that was yeah. me. Oh, yeah. There right. was me nice. in like 1992. You're nailing it, buddy. I mean, yeah. you're absolutely nailing it. Oh, we gotta take a break. Well, I I wanna talk more about my middle school outfits, but we gotta take a really, really quick, you know, quick break. We'll be right back well, with you. Can't break now. No, you can't okay, break. well, so, so, um, <laughs> I was never allowed to wear guest jeans because they were, you know, $60 or whatever it was. My dad didn't need them. No, you're growing still. We're not spending that kind of money on blue jeans. Like, that was crazy. And I had grass stains on the knees immediately. But listen, yeah. I always had Air Jordans because I saved my money and bought them. Always. I, w I always had Air Jordans. And in high school, you know, blue jeans, pair of boots, flannel shirt. Yeah. And I was untucked because when you're chubby, you don't tuck things in <laughs> because then your belly hangs over the pants and you look ridiculous. So, so me, me currently. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, that, that, that was basically me through middle school and high school. When we come back, I want to tell you in what kind of terrible shape I'm in. Sounds exciting. <laughs> All right, Price Man, it's time to turn and burn and take out some high prices. And let's not forget to remind everyone how fun it is to buy a car at Dutch Miller Kia. That's right, an easy and fun shopping experience is what we're all about. Get a Kia K5 starting at just $199 a month and ask about 0% financing for up to 60 months. Price Man, it's time to buzz the tower. At Dutch Miller Jeep of South Charleston, friends and family pricing for everyone means you get the best deal right up front. And that's no gimmick. We use advanced software to price our vehicles below our competitors within 100 miles. It's no wonder we continue to be the number one Jeep dealer in the entire state of West Virginia. For a limited time, during the Jeep Celebration event at Dutch Miller Jeep, get a 2021 Wrangler Sport starting at an amazing $219 a month. Dexter chat now at DutchMillerJeep.com. Finally coming out of the cold and into the springtime, and there's three things I can't wait to do. Clean out my barn and hang some pretty curtains. I like floral patterns. Renew my interest in the bucolic pleasings of Beethoven's pastoral symphony. Hashtag caught off guard. And hit all my favorite spring break spots in my brand new truck. Dutch Miller Ram of South Charleston. Right now, during Ram Truck Month, get 0% financing for up to 84 months on a 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn. At Dutch Miller Subaru in Charleston, we take pride in spreading the love. Love for our customers, love for our team, and love for our product. Subaru continues to build, dollar for dollar, some of the best models on the road today. In fact, there are more Subarus 10 years or older on the road right now than any other manufacturer in the country. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 63 months on select models. Text or chat now and learn more about the Subaru A Lot to Love event at DutchMillerSubaru.com. We are back! And uh, Chris, I was thinking, I was, before we left uh, to take the break, I was talking about the kind of shape that I'm in right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was having this really like sort of philosophical uh, thought process the other day, like me versus a supervillain. <laughs> and then I was thinking like a supervillain dealing with like Superman, you know, he might be like, well, Superman, you must take the damsel off the tracks before the train hits her. And then he has to travel at the speed of light, or speed of sound, yeah. break the sound barrier. He gets there, he has to use his heat vision to like burn the ropes yeah. off. He gets the damsel, takes off, takes her to a, a safe place, right? And then I thought, like, how could they stop me? And they were like, Wesley, the girl will die if you if you can't touch your toes without grunting. And I would be like, dang. Yeah, I'd be she, like, she, she gone. She, she gone. Yeah. Can you tie a shoe without grunting? <laughs> you must sprint 400 meters. Oh, no, no. In less than two minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. No, he has me at just bending at the waist. Uh, so I'm the opposite of a superhero in that way. Funny, funny story. <laughs> True story. Yeah. 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 So good. I. <laughs> 
Wes and I have traveled together frequently for advertising things or dealer things. And if, if we share like, or if our rooms are side by side, and you know, you wake up at the same time, you got a meeting at 9 a.m., so everybody's up before breakfast, you know, you kind of wake up at 7. You and I are both kind of early risers. Yeah, we are in general. Like, I'm, I'm an early riser for sure, for sure, and so are you. Um, but Wes, as well, has this special feature about him. Not only can he not bend over and touch his toes without grunting, but every morning when he brushes his teeth, you'll hear a sound like this. <laughs> From another room. <laughs> And I'll be in a hotel in the room beside him and still be able to hear it. Because he's got this issue with brushing his teeth and brushing his tongue, which makes him horribly gag. Well, so one day Chris comes to me and he goes, hey, did you have a rough night last night? I heard you being sick this morning. And I go, no, dude, that's me. I do that when I brush my teeth. And he's like, what? And then he met some friends of mine who also travel with me and they're like, oh no, that's Wes's gag reflex. It, I can't, the minute the toothbrush, and by the way, it's only early in the morning. Like in the evening, I can brush my teeth, no problem. I have none of this issue. <laughs> but like cra like 6.30 in the morning, if I just put a toothbrush like right there, the minute it gets past like the canines, <laughs> the minute it gets past the canines, I am ah, ah, ah. It, it's not okay. It's the loudest. Like, I literally, I thought the first time I heard it, I thought he was in there puking. I was like, It waters the eye. Oh, too much to drink last night, buddy? <laughs> huh? No, no, huh? I just gag when I brush my teeth, Chris. <laughs> in the morning. Attempting oral hygiene. Um, no, it's, uh, and, and ask any any friend oh, of mine, they're all, God. it's like two things they'll say, like, Wes has a gag reflex, and if he's wearing a white shirt, he will spill soy sauce on it. Oh, God. <laughs> There's not a shot of me not doing it. You guys, we're apparently here to sell cars anyway, but I'm going to just yeah. tell stories. So, I've got a molar in the back of my mouth that's out. And I had it removed a couple of weeks ago. And I haven't decided, because you can have dental surgery and have like the, th the whole thing cut open and then a tooth implanted and drilled into the base of the jaw and titanium and all this stuff. I don't even want to know if I want to go through that or not. But that's grinding my teeth at night. And like, I'm normally like calm, cool, and collect. Like I've learned how to do this over the years. Don't let stuff frazzle me unless I really want to prove a point. And it's more about intention than being reactionary. Apparently, though, it doesn't matter in the subconscious at all. No matter what's happening and how cool, calm, and collect you present yourself, stress is still a very real thing. And my wife even told me that I'm gr like grinding my teeth at night. And so I was grinding my teeth at night so hard that I cracked my back molar in half. Wow. Like link lengthwise. How so do you, you do might, that? You might be a little stressed out. I mean, apparently so. You know why he's stressed out? Because that's how hard he works to bring you the best deal right up front. There you have it, yeah. Speaking of deals. Yes. Yeah. So, hey. Hey, hey by the way, you know, cars. We should talk, I think we should talk about something real quick, Chris. Yeah. I think a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty is a pretty impressive oh, thing. Oh, it's awesome. That you have at the Kia and Hyundai stores. Mm -hmm. I think being the number one Jeep dealer in the state of West Virginia is amazing. Being the number one CDGR store, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram in the state of West Virginia is pretty amazing. Well, and the number one and the number two Kia dealer in the state of West Virginia. I mean. And the number one and the number two Kia dealer in our district. How about that? So, yeah. Uh, how about uh Hmm. Well, what really does, what really leads to all that stuff is um, because of how we run our business. And we use friends and family pricing for everyone. We want to make sure that it doesn't matter if you're buying a pre-owned vehicle or a brand new vehicle. You get an absolutely, you get the absolute best deal right up front. We just want to take care of customers and sell cars as fast as but, possible. But Chris, you can have the best inventory, the best price, the best location, the best advertising for that matter. Um, but really, I think the accomplishment that you all should hang your hat on is the culture you've created at the dealerships. I mean, you go in, you're treated great by everybody. Everybody has a great attitude. It's always a fun experience. That's the idea, right? And, and the, some of the stuff that you see us acting like idiots on television and having a good time and laughing and joking, like we try to translate that into the dealership experience on the ground. And we literally look for that in the people that we want to work with and hire too. As soon as I walk through the door at a dealership, it's I'm greeted by you know three or four salespeople that are wanting to talk about the last commercial or you know yeah. hey let's do something funny let's do something here you know everybody's engaged and uh, that just makes for a good customer experience. Well, th that's the idea because uh, you know life's too short not to have a good time, right? No question. And it doesn't matter what you're doing. Buying an auto automobile is the second largest purchase that you're going to make in your life. The first a, one a lot of places around. you can buy a car. Yeah, and, and you can go any, just about anywhere and buy a car. And with the invention of the internet, like you can drive anywhere you want to go. So we want to do something that's different. We want to make sure and not only give people a great price, but also treat them fair, make sure they have a good time and take care of them after the point in sale. Yeah. And so it's, it's that entire thing all together is the reason why that um, you know, we've become the largest dealer group 
in the state of West Virginia, and we're still actively growing and expanding. And you know, we, we're going to be here for a very long time. We're growing inside of the state because of our success, and I love this state, by the way. This is where I want to be. We're also growing outside of the state. The really cool thing is, is that we can take what we've done, you know, that real West Virginian way, and then move it outside of the state and treat people right there because that's been one of the cool things about opportunity is there are other places where people aren't as great as they are in West Virginia. Well, and I'll bring this up, and you know, you, you also put your resources and time where your mouth is. I mean, you're very involved locally in uh, local charities, nonprofits. Facing Hunger Food Bank, for example, is something we're very supportive of. Listen, I don't care who you are or what you do. That's an obligation. It's a privilege to do business in a community. And it is also the obligation of that business owner to make that community a better place every day. It's, it's not a choice, it's an obligation. It is a symbiotic relationship between the success of a business and the people it's allowed to hire and help with their incomes and the impact that that business can make inside of the community. All, all, all this other stuff aside, it is, it is the duty of any business owner to make the community that it is privileged enough to do business in a better place. It's an obligation, period, the end. Well, Dutch Miller certainly puts a footprint down on it, that's for yeah, sure. That's the name of the game. And guess what? We sell cars, hey, but by there's the way. also hey, cars yeah. are what they sell. <laughs> we sell cars. Um, let's take a look at our Subaru store. We haven't done that yet. And, and we're running short on time. You and I start we talking do about this. stuff and tell stories. Yeah. So we have a Subaru dealership in Charleston, West Virginia. We have a Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram and a Kia dealership in South Charleston, West Virginia. We have a Kia dealership in Barbersville. And we also have a Chevrolet dealership and a Hyundai dealership in Huntington. And that's kind of the stress that we're at now, but we've got all kinds of fun things coming in the future because we are still actively growing and expanding in West Virginia. And it's my home state and it's the place I love the most. And you know, the really cool thing is our state for the first time in a very long time is in a really good spot and it's just gonna keep getting better. Like there's there's some cool stuff coming and the stuff that we have here in the state that's very unique. Where the, like I swear, the people here in West Virginia are better than anywhere else you'll ever go. The, the, these pe people in West Virginia will invite you in their house and feed you. That's just the way it is. Yeah. And Chris, I'm going to tell you, I, you know, I, I personally live just right over the border there in Kentucky, and Kentuckians are the same way, same man. Place the area. Very similar this cultures. It's a great area. It's a great area, man. Um, my my in-laws live in Ohio, same thing. It, it, yeah, the tri-state area There's something is, about this area that's yeah. just fantastic. And my brother and I both both married girls from Ohio. My, my wife's from Proctorville, and my brother's uh, wife's from Chesapeake. And we always joked that we had to leave the state because nobody here would marry us. We had to marry somebody from outside the state. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's take a look at uh, some of these new Subarus because there are some fantastic vehicles here. The Subaru Ascent, which is an absolutely, it's a seven seater full size SUV. The Outback, which is one of, it's, it is absolutely one of the safest vehicles on the road today. And then also something else to, me to mention are not only the Legacy and the Impreza, which have the absolute best leases in the country right now. And so if you're looking for a brand new car that is all wheel drive that you can lease for as low as $179 a month, you ought to consider the Subaru Impreza. They are well, and when it comes to quality vehicles, I'll bring this up in regard to the Dutch Miller Automotive family. First of all, Subaru, um, there are more cars on the road today, 10 years or older, that are Subaru than any other manufacturer out there. <clears throat> also, I would point out that Kia is now running on six years, JD Power, number one in initial quality, number one in reliability, and that's not just better than Toyota, Nissan, Honda, that's better than Porsche and BMW. So just keep that in mind when you think about the quality of these vehicles, Dutch Miller's cars, the manufacturers you've chosen to align yourself with also reflect the quality of the, the auto group itself. And, and, and the other neat thing is because of the volume of business that we do, it doesn't matter if you know you want to buy a Toyota or you want to buy a Nissan or you want to buy a Honda. Like We trade for so many cars and do so much volume of business that we have all of those vehicles in an almost like new condition and are able to save you thousands on even those cars. So, and we can do that really, really quickly. I can pull up and go to our pre-owned inventory search and let's search by make and we'll pull up, uh, should we do Honda, should we do Toyota, what are you gonna do? Pull up a Toyota. While let's you're pulling Toyota. that up, Dave, did you have a question? Well, yeah, while you're looking that up, Chris, I was just curious, you know, Wes, question for you. Okay. Chris is not gonna do this, but if he did, if he said, Wes, why don't you walk into any of the Dutch Miller dealerships? Okay. And pick out any vehicle and you can drive it for a week. Kind of your fantasy week in a fantasy vehicle. What would you pick? What would I jump on? Right now, um, I would have to look at something like either the Kia Telluride, um, which is an amazing vehicle. Um, or, by the way, the Kia Stinger. I'm not just trying to go all Kia here, but those are two cars that I, I, I really am in love with um, as far as those brands go. And then, of course, you know, when you get into... Uh, when you start getting into like 
American muscle cars. There's a few. Uh, there's a few there at the Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram store that I would be all over. Oh my God, the, the Challenger with the, the, the yeah the the, the, the Hellcat, SRT, the Hellcat. Those things should just be kind of fun to take one of those I, for a I, week I, and I drive it, it around. The, the it, like 700 horsepower. Not but, practical for my from a family yeah, standpoint. Make you swallow but, your teeth. It's so fast, like <laughs> craziness. Maybe a Corvette. <clears throat> oh my gosh, uh, I'll tell you right now, I'll tell you right, at the Chevy store, the brand new fully loaded tricked out Tahoes oh, are just beautiful. I don't know if you've seen They're the gorgeous. new body styles. They're gorgeous. Interior, the tech involved. This is a luxury vehicle in yeah. every sense of the word. Yep. Um, but it, uh, And by the way, at, at the Kia store also, if you haven't seen the K5, check out the K5. Oh, so I will tell you this, if I had to buy a car for myself and I was driving, you know, 10 to 20,000 miles a year, which I, by the way, I do drive 20,000 miles a year. You do a lot of driving. Well, you I just twenty back and forth my, between yeah. the dealerships. I do about 25,000 miles a year. If I had to buy a car for myself personally, I'd buy a K5. That's just, that's the it's car that I It's basically replaced buy. the Optima, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, it has replaced the Optima. You can get it in all-wheel drive or not all-wheel drive. That's the car that I would buy of me personally. I was going out and buy a car today. That's um, just me. I'm trying to think, yeah. do we leave anybody out? I mean, Hyundai. My, my wife has a Palisade. I'll tell you right oh, now, that's one of the nicest vehicles. Um, I have the Traverse. Um, we talked about Subaru. We talked about Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. I mean, Chevy trucks, man, are awesome. The new design Silverado is off the charts. Silverado, yeah. Silverados, and Ram 1500 Crew Cab Express 4x4s. <laughs> Buddy, we got them. You've said that enough, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've said that a few yeah. times in an ad voiceover. All right, so we gotta it's go. been a fun show, man. We flew by this, and, and I'm Chris Miller along with... Wes Thompson. You guys have been watching the Dutch Miller Auto Show. Thanks so much for tuning in. Last time I checked, all the trucks in Dutch Miller Dodge Ram in South Charleston are built right here in America. Bondoir, Rocky Ford. Right now, we got a Ram 1500 Express Quad Cab 4x4 starting at just $189 a month. Monster trucks, Myrtle Beach. And remember, Dutch Miller's the home of friends and family pricing for everyone. Bass fishing, cold. That's a Dutch Miller Dodge Ram in South Charleston.